when he played with the Sartell Muskies amateur oh. team that uh, went on to win a state amateur tournament many years ago. But still, uh, he uh, he's a good guy. He's a good coach, and I. Uh, and only anticipate the best of sportsmanship from his squad. Well, tonight we're lucky to have Jonathan Laflamme and the Flyer Marching Pep Band here tonight. They're going to be in the stands. We're going to get the flag colors presented to us by American Legion Post 46 in Little Falls. As the players enter the court, the Flyer theme song comes on. And we'll have the starting lineups in just a second. I do have them right now. I want to thank everybody tonight, especially our great Flyer Media Productions Club, Jerry Abraham for Channel 6 giving us his technical support. Karen Warner, she's taking a break tonight. And uh, Polly Fronsek, my color man tonight. Our camera people, Nicole Andrews, Alex Warzeka, Andrew Walvogel, Brittany James. Up in the booth tonight, Eric Van Ark, Emily Donaski, Joe Vucinovich, River Stumpf, and we've got, uh, let's see, Eric Van Ark on graphics. I think that's everybody. Great night tonight for Flyer basketball. Very impressive young squad you put together here on your own right, Mr. Gertz. Uh, I'm very impressed with uh, the, the club that you got here as far as putting a live production like this together. It uh, comes a long way back from uh, back in my days when uh, Fred and uh, Fled Funstone and Barney Rebel <laughs> used to uh, do the color for us and Piers. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, boo boo. Oh, boo boo boo. <laughs> We got 59 seconds to go. They're practicing their last shots down on the court. Uh, Little Falls, of course, coached by Kevin Jordan, but on the sideline is Kurt Stump, the former head coach for Piers, doing assistant coaching for Little Falls. It was a good advantage, I think, for Little Falls to have him against Piers because he had coached him last year. Oh, very interesting. Uh, kind of a surprising little uh, shuffle of yes. coaching, but. We're going to take a little break here to watch the colors being presented once again by the American Legion Post 46 in Little Falls, Minnesota, with our national anthem, Jonathan Laflamme, and the Little Falls Flyer Pet Band. We'll take a break and honor our country. And there you have the colors presented by the American Legion Post. And Polly, of course, you're close to all veterans in the Little Falls, Morrison County area because of your job. Yes, sir, that's uh, very true. And uh, God bless our troops, God bless our veterans. And uh, it's uh, very good to see the live band here tonight great? Uh, to cover the colors. And uh, it's better than Memrex, let's put it to you that way. <laughs> it truly is. Our PA announcer tonight, Joel Holy, and in the crowd tonight, Jack Peck, longtime oh, PA boy. announcer for the Little Falls Flyers. Yep, Jack and Betty uh, always on hand, and uh, they're probably the biggest Flyer fans that'll come across. Um, well, he's got his beanie on again from 1975. He's got his little Flyer beanie. 
Well, here's the Little Falls and uh, Sartell starting lineup. Sartell, of course, in the Central Lakes Conference. Little Falls leaving the Central Lakes for the Granite Ridge this year, first year, and they're undefeated right now, beating Zimmerman. Big game against Zimmerman. I think the team to beat in the conference, the way it looks like, is Cathedral. We'll see what happens when they face them later on uh, this year, twice. We're waiting for the PA to get started here, and uh, I got the starting lineups, but I'll wait till we get them introduced on the floor. Thanks to our great camera people getting the starting lineups on film for us tonight. This is being produced by Flyer Media Productions. You can watch this live on our Little Falls Community High School website, lfalls.k12.mn.us. Click the lower left-hand corner. You'll see upcoming broadcasts. And actually, if Paulie, uh, we're going to do an interview tomorrow with Superintendent Trigestad at Channel 6. Beautiful. About Flyer Media Productions. Beautiful. I, I tip my cap to you gentlemen and ladies involved in this. This is, this is one of the better... Uh, situations in the state of Minnesota for learning about mass communications. Well, starting for uh, Sartell, Alex Walhart, the six-foot uh, senior, number five. He'll be watched by number 22, Grant Bell, the soccer star from Little Falls, leading scorer all-time in the state of Minnesota for soccer. Next, starting for Sartell, number 15, Patrick Fisher, a six-foot-four-inch junior. He'll be watched tonight by number 24, Colin Ekman, six-foot junior. And Colin's doing a great job running the floor. They've got a heck of a transition game, Little Falls does. For Sartell, one of the big men, number 21, Tim Immelman, six foot seven inch junior. He is going to tower over his opponent, number 32, Josh Wenzel at 5'11. And Josh looks into his eyes on a stool there. For Sartell, number 23, Zach Jiskra, a six foot three inch junior. He'll be watched by number 52, Spencer Lubers, a six foot four inch sophomore, excuse me, junior. Coming off the bench, doing a great job this year. Last year, he was off the bench this year, he's starting. And for Sartell, number 33, Ben Lanners, the other six foot seven tandem underneath. He'll be watched by our leading scorer, Matt Valentine, son of Jerome Valentine. He shakes the hands with the coaches. Matt Valentine, a six foot five inch senior center. And our officials tonight, Justin Yeneman and Tom Keller. Justin Veneman, excuse me, and Tom Keller. Another uh, player to watch for the Flyers tonight would have to be Tom Smith, the 5'8 senior guard. Saw a lot of playing time last year. I'm sure he'll be that first man off the bench to help that offense propel itself. Tommy is so fast off the bench, I don't even see him coming in. Really? He is well, that fast. Well, assistant coach Kurt Stumpf, Kevin Jordan, the head coach, talking to their players. Dave Angel, his uh, staff is Mike Sieben, Scott Hentges, Marcus Oystad. Marcus Oystad, a uh, star player for the uh, Sartell Sabres uh, six years ago when he was playing. He is teaching now in Sartell. Marcus, the assistant coach, glad to be back on the bench for Sartell. He was a great basketball player, a great baseball player, too. As they shake hands, Paulie, we're going to get started here. 18 minutes on the clock. The first half is going to begin. Valentine jumping against, against uh, Zickstra. Uh, Zimmelman, excuse me. Zach Jiskra. I'm going to get him confused all day because I said it's his name wrong. It's a tough name. <laughs> it has Jiskra. a lot of consonants in there. And Sartell controls the tap. Number 15, Fisher, backcourt. Watched by Wenzel. Man-to-man -man defense right away. But almost Wenzel steals the ball. He's going down the court all the way. Boom! First basket by Josh Wenzel. And he is one for one in shots right now. Nice basket by Wenzel on the steal. And he's got one point. One basket, two to nothing, 17.35 to go. Sartell flipping around man-to-man -man defense by Little Falls. Boy, they're going to hound him all night. he got to step in there. Travel. Number 33 with that uh, violation, Ben Lanners. So Sartell in the hole early, two nothing. Wow. If this is going to be this fast-paced game, Little Falls in that man-to-man -man defense, this is going to be tough scoring for Sartell. Tough matchup size-wise, but we'll see how that plays out. Valentine blocked by number 15. Fisher goes up for the big block. And Little Falls inbounding. Grant Bell, Grant Bell, the leading scorer in Minnesota State history in soccer. Jay Purse. He's a big man. He also kicked football for the Flyers, too. He's the all-purpose. Kind of like George Blanda. Huh. Ekman across. Over to Lubers. Shoots it wide. No good for Lubers. Bell off. Valentine couldn't get the ball. And it's back out to Spencer Lubers on top. Sartell, they're doing a man-to-man -man too. A little switch off here. They're switching man, kind of a man zone out there right now. Valentine turns, spins. He's not going to get up too high on that six foot seven inch uh, Immelman. And no shot again. Two nothing. Low scoring so far. 16.43 to go. First half. Lubers to Valentine. Puts it up. Boom! 
That's going to get him points all night. And he's got two points. And it's 16-28 to go, 4 nothing. Sartell crosses the timeline. Nice pass underneath the Fisher, and he can't handle it. And that's going to be Little Falls' ball. Well, Paul, what do you see so far here? It's a slowdown game right now. Well, uh, the two big boys trying to double post low here for uh, the Sabres. It'll be interesting to see how well Valentine can maneuver with that big size on him. But kids produce so far. Lubers, top of the key. Up in three-point land. Crossing Bell. Puts it up. Good shot by Bell. Tipped away. No good. Bell has it. Lubers from about 14 feet. No good. Bell and Lubers both missed those shots, and he's on the timeline, the outside line, and Bell. Early going here, it looks like the Flyers are just a little bit quicker, a step quicker. But I, It's funny, I'm looking at these 6'7 boys, and they haven't been doing a heck of a lot right now underneath. We'll see what happens if they open up some picks underneath. Ball is in number five, Walhart's hands. Big man number 21, Immelman. Fisher, three-point shot by number 23. Good! That's... Jiskra, he's got a three-pointer. And Sartell comes back, four to three, kicked out of bounds by Little Falls, and that'll be Sartell's ball in the turnover. Well, 15-33, a little slowdown game. This is way different than the Piers game, Paulie. Well, it's gonna, you can see both these teams like to shoot and like to move, so uh, expect it to pick up. Fisher, watched by Wenzel, kicks it out over to Jiskra. Jiskra underneath, Immelman. Immelman shoots, no good, rebounded. That looks like Lubers has, oh, that's Grant Bell with the rebound, kicks it out to Ekman for three, no good. And Fisher with the rebound, so Little Falls shooting a little cold right now. Ekman with a three point shot, no good. And the ball's kicked out by Sartell, Little Falls, and Sartell will retain the ball. We got a wholesale uh, substitution. Kevin Jordan does this a lot, he's got 10 people to put in right away. And this is going to be Travis Spillum, uh, Troy Scott. Uh, it's got to be Jake Scott out there, too. And I believe uh, I see Jake Scott. Yep, there he is. And number 41. Looks like uh, Cameron Graydon. Smith. Is that number Gray five? There we go. Gradine, yep. Colin Gradine, number 40. Okay. So wholesale substitution. Nimbleman underneath puts it up. Boy, he's got a lot of height now. So it's a five to four, Sartell up early, 14.35 to go in the first half here. Little Falls still kicking out. They've got their second starting five in there. Big 14, oh there he is, Tommy Smith puts up the tray. And he's got his first basket, seven to five. Like you said, Tommy Smith coming in. He's gonna run some offense. Fisher, almost double dribbles, picked up. Sartell has not substituted coach. Dave Angel sticking with his starting five at 14.05 to go. Seven to five, Little Falls up by two. Fisher over to Jiskra, back out. Lanners touching the ball for the first time over on the left side, Lanners. Whoa, Troy Scott with a nice steal. Oh, Scott, and he gets fouled by number 23. Wow. So Zikstra, a Jiskra, oh man, pardon me. <laughs> Start telling people I am sorry. I got to spell that name differently. Jiskra. Jiskra. Got it. Little falls inbounding the ball, Tommy Smith. Start telling first substitution. Bringing in number, let's see, 45. That is Parker Hagen. And Little falls with its second starting five in here. Scott, the Scott brothers. Number 22, Jake uh, Grant, 20, Jake Scott with the ball. Uh, Travis Spillum turns it over. Well, it's a third turnover for a little fall. Seven to five, low scoring game. Nothing's really opened up yet. Fisher, he's watched by Tommy Smith. Crosses the timeline. Fisher, watched by Spillum. They're going into a zone. Little Falls slips into 2-3 zone. Left side to Jiskra. And Jiskra kicks the ball out to 45. Hagen, Hagen puts it up, no good. Rebounded. That's number 20. Jake Scott all the way, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by number 40, Gardine. Another three-pointer put up by Troy Scott. 
Nice little move by Andrew. By Tommy Smith, excuse me. Smith with the ball, baseline, dishes it off underneath, gets the ball back, and it's out of bounds off of Sartell. Wow. Little Tommy Smith is running around everywhere. Yeah, the kid's quick. Boy, 7-5, to five, though. 12-54, almost halfway through this first half, and it's a 7-5 to five game. Only one foul, that being on Sartell's number 23, Jiskra. Little falls with the ball. Spill him to Scott. Dishes it underneath. Nice feed to number 40, Colin Gradine. And Gradine has two points. His first basket. Nine to five, Little Falls up. 12.36 to go, first half. Boy, Little Falls is ball hawking, spilling with the ball. Little Tommy Smith goes down, puts it up from the free throw line. Good. Ooh, that was a finger roll, Michael Jordan style. <laughs> nice job by Tommy Smith, 11 to five. They open up a six point lead here. Biggest lead of the night for Little Falls. Central Lakes Conference, former foes here. They are section foes. This has definite section implications. Little Falls, boy, cutting in that passing lane. Travis Billum knocks it away. Fisher's got it. They can't get anything going underneath. The big guys are way up, posted up high. Fisher has the ball almost stolen away. Takes a three. It's Ooh. good. Well, you can't leave him alone. 11 to seven, 11 to eight here. Fisher with that three-pointer. Scott! Boom! He buries it. Jake Scott, his first three-pointer. And Little Falls opens up a 13-8 lead. They have one, two, three, uh, two three-pointers already. Holy moly. 11.36 to go, 14-8. Sartell only substituting one player. Fisher, another three-pointer off the rim. Hagen with a rebound. Kicks it out. Jiskra. Oh, ball hawked again, just about taken away. Number 33 with the shot, no good from 15 feet. Lanners, and that goes off Little Falls. Got a timeout called here. Oh my gosh, we got a wholesale substitution. No timeout called. Little Falls' ball that was out off of Sartell. Looks like they're bringing in the starting five again. Here. I think they are, and Jemsey's coming in for Sartell. Number three, Nick Jemsey. Uh, 45, Hagen in. I see 35, Dylan Hollenkamp. And 21 still in, Immelman. And number five, Walhart. So two of the starting five in. Matt Valentine, nice spin move. That's how he gets the baskets. That one rolls away. Jimsey with the ball, takes it down the court. Tipped out by Little Falls, off of Immelman. And Little Falls retains possession. Whoa! Nice pass down low for Jimsey there. He just couldn't handle it. The big man couldn't get his paws on it. Boy, 6-7 looks incredibly huge against some of those small guards Little Falls has, but not against Matt Valentine. Valentine fighting underneath. Josh Wenzel, left side. He's watched real closely by Hollenkamp. Kicks it over to Bell. Valentine, boom! Matt Valentine. He's got four points tonight. He missed two, so he's two for four tonight. 10.28 to go, 16-8, Little Falls doubles it up. Bell with a nice pass to Wenzel, goes the distance. Boom, he's fouled by Jemsey. Boy, he's hammered. That's all Jemsey could do on that play. One thing that's easy to pick up early here, is watching the first game, I've seen Little Falls. They're a lot quicker up front. I mean, their guards are playing a lot, lot quicker this year than they did a year ago. Timeout called by Little Falls, and you are right, boy. And it's the same crew, basically, as last year, with the exception of Spencer Luber who's starting. But uh, Grant Bell and Ekman, oof, Ekman is fast. Grant Bell is lightning out there. And it's pretty easy to see that uh, by going with a deep bench, they can keep a really fast pace of basketball going, which really speaks volumes for you later in the game. Well, Coach told me that those five kids off the bench uh, Actually, there are seven kids that he'll pull in any time off the bench, and he'll wholesale sub. So it gives the other team a different look. They don't know what to do. Well, not only that, but you get into uh, conditioning when you're down to the five-minute mark of the second half. You've got fresh legs out there as opposed to someone who's been dragging up and down the whole evening. Little Falls with their starting five back in. Josh Wenzel goes to the line on that foul by Jemsey. 10-22, 16-8. Little Falls up by eight doubling the score here, and Wenzel's first try at the line tonight. Wenzel's got two points. First one, no good. Wenzel's second one, he's got to get that shot in. This is a, this is where the game could be won or lost. Little Falls, last time against Piers, not only from the free throw line, but they missed nine layups. Oh my. Matt Valentine alone 
this seven. Oh. And they would have had a hundred point game easily, but boy, they run and gun. That transition game is incredible. Jemsey watched by Wenzel. Little falls in a man-to-man -man defense. They are just hawking, trying to get those passing lanes. Jemsey on the right side. Oh, kicked up. Ekman picks it up. Bell wide open and kipped away by Jemsey, but Bell picks it up. Grant Bell, deep right. In down to Matt Valentine, to Wenzel. Nice little run, and there's Valentine with a shot blocked, and we got over the back by Matt Valentine. I Valentine may have been hammered a little bit on that shot, and it, out of frustration, he went to try to pick up that rebound and picked up the foul. It's his first foul. There's only three team fouls total for both teams here. Two for Sartell, one for Little Falls. A really low fouling game. Referee is not even calling it close. I mean, they're letting them play, and it's good play right now. Keeps the flow of the game going very well. you got to almost like that. 17 to 8, Little Falls up by 9. Jemsey crossing the line with Bell hot on his tail. Over to Fisher. Fisher watched by Wenzel. Kicks it over to Hollenkamp. But nothing's opening up underneath. Little Falls is in that man-to-man -man defense right now. Immelman, nothing to shoot at. Puts the ball down back to Jemsey. Top, goes to the free throw line, kicks it out to Hollenkamp. Hollenkamp for three, no good. Matt Valentine has the ball tipped away by Immelman. Lubers tries to get the ball away. Jemsey with an NBA three-pointer, no good. Number 45 puts it up, and that is Parker Hagen, and he will have a basket, and he will have a foul. Oh, boy, Matt Valentine, second foul. That could be problems later down. Well, that puts Hagen at the line for his first free throw attempt. It's 17 to 10, 9-11 to go. No, no good. Kind of hard shot. Rebounded by Sartell's Fisher. Had to slap away by Wenzel, but he picks it back up. Jemsey looking for the three. Boy, nice move. Nice move by number 35, Hollenkamp. Jemsey and Immelman. Immelman turns, shoots. No good. Boy, Valentine right in his face. And Colin Ekman with the rebound. Ekman, nice move. Kicks it out to Wenzel. Matt Valentine underneath. Nothing going. He got a little traveling going down. But watching Matt from a year ago, the kid not only has put a little weight on and beefed himself up, grew a couple inches, but his skill level, his footwork has way, way improved from a year ago. And tip your cap to the kid. He worked a lot in the offseason. Great football season for Matt Valentine. And he hurt his knee in football. Wasn't a little worried about attacking to Jerome. But he came back strong. Hoping to maybe play football for a Division II team, maybe. We'll see. Not sure. Little travel going on there by Parker Hagen. Third traveling call on both teams. And Little Falls with the wholesale substitution again. We got the Scott brothers, little Tommy Smith, and uh, Travis Spillum. And we've got, it's got to be Colin Gradine again. So we got the second starting five in. 17 to 10, 831 to go. Low scoring first half, Paul. Woo. In comparison to what you've seen the last few times out, you bet. Coach was telling me against Zimmerman. Zimmerman spotted Little Falls a 13-point lead, and Ugh. Little Falls started playing. Huh. So uh, that doesn't happen often right now with this fast team. And Little Falls has got great future basketball players coming up in ninth grade. Gardine, nice dish. Boy, that was beautiful. The ninth grade team is hot, and the seventh grade team is an incredible team in middle school right now. My. Jemsey, boy, nice move, but he traveled. He picked that ball up, put his foot back down. Back in the game, Jiskra. And 7.58 to go, 19 to 10. Little Falls up by nine in the game. Uh, well, you know what? I got two number threes going on. This must be Nick Jemsey. This is Jemsey, yes, sir. Well, let me see. No, Jemsey is 13. No, oh, Jem that's, I am all confused. Coleman now. is, this is Coleman. on 13. Yeah, they got a couple numbers wrong yeah. here. Well, it wasn't Jemsey that was in, obviously. Scott. Left side, puts it up. Tommy Smith, boom, hits the strap, and that's out of bounds. That strap rarely gets in the way, but when it does, it's OB. Hmm. Kind of an odd rule, isn't it? It is kind of strange that they'd have that hanging in the field of play. Yeah. You know, one time we were playing ball here in the morning, and before those straps were on, the backboard snapped loose from the cable. That's well, why they have well. them. Oh, Immelman underneath. Nice basket by Immelman, dished off by Fisher. Perfect Immelman. assist. He's got four points today, 19 to 12. Little Falls up by seven. Scott dances around. They're looking for something underneath. Tommy Smith looking for Gradine. 
Boy, Gardeen's working really hard on Immelman, doing a good job with it, too. Tommy Smith, right underneath the spill. He walked. That's a fourth uh, traveling violation on both teams here. Nice dish inside to Gradine. He just couldn't get his footing down and stumbled a little bit. He's doing a great job against Immelman. Boy, he's, he gives up. Uh, Gradine gives up six inches. Boy, he's playing them tall. Yeah, surprisingly, the big boys haven't really had an impact in this game yet, Gertie. Not at all. Ben Lanner is uh, back in. The two six seven guys have touched the ball a couple times, and Immelman has four points only. Fisher kicks it over. Three-point shot coming up no good by Jiskra. That hit the strap, too, and they didn't call that one. 6.55 to go, 19-12. to 12. Tommy Smith on the right side. Smith is a great ball handler. Kicks it out to Jake Scott. The Scott brothers in there. Scott, baseline. Puts it up with a dipsy doodle, no good. Rebounded by Lanners. Lanners gets it to Fisher. Fisher kicks it over. This is Jimsey. Jimsey shot, no good. Nice rebound by Lanners. Immelman, boom, soft touch, no good. And Tommy Smith comes up with the ball, crosses the timeline, setting up a little offense underneath. Oh, Tommy just didn't know what to do with it. He was wide open underneath. Well, he knows how to cut. Getting get the elevation on that shot on the finger roll. Boy. Now he's given up. Tommy Smith is listed here at 5'8". Uh, giving up a foot. Rebound. Boy, Immelman has just been cold at the line. Rebounded by Scott to his brother, Troy Scott. Back to Jake. Jake looking for something going on offense. And Coach uh, Kevin Jordan just kind of relaxed to keep his team in like this. Not doing much changing right now. Keeping the boys in for five-minute shifts right now. Scott. Kicks it out. Big mm. shot by. That was a push. Looks like it's on uh, Gradeen. Yep, that's on Colin Gradeen, his first foul. 5.41 to go, 19 to 12 here. Boy, fouls only three fouls for Little Falls, two for Sartell. Wow. They're letting them play, and that's a good thing. It Gets is. the clock rolling. It keeps, them, keeps the game flowing, and there's nothing really tough to call right now. They're not doing anything. Really flagrant. Fisher over to Jimsey. Jimsey watched by Tommy Smith up to Lanners. Lanners, Fisher, left side. Nice soft touch. That was number 21, Immelman. He's got six points tonight. Kid's only a junior too, Gertie. Man, he's going to grow another two inches. Tommy Smith with a three. Boom! Smith puts it in. Tommy Smith has eight points tonight. He is leading all scorers off the bench. 5.02 to go, 22 to 14. And Josh Wenzel with a steal. Boom, another one in. And Wenzel has five points tonight. 4.51 to go. Little Falls opens up a quick 10-point lead. Very quietly, Fisher to Jimsey. Wide open from 14, decides to pull up. Back to Jimsey. Over in the middle. Jiskra, oh, gets it up. Immelman, nice job by Immelman. Immelman's waking up down low. That's eight for him. I tell you what, if you let him score that, he's going to score all night with those wide open shots. Wenzel for three. Whoa, big shot wide. Picked up by Bell. And Spencer Lubers comes away with it. Tommy Smith. Boom! Tommy Smith. He's got nine points from behind the arc tonight, 27 to 16. And Little Falls has quietly opened up an 11-point lead here. 4-10 to go in the first half. 27 to 16. Little Falls up by 11. 4-0-4 to go. The ball is stolen again by Josh Wenzel. Boy, and Sartell having trouble keeping that handle on the ball. Wide open Colin Ekman for three. Boom! Ekman! Holy cow! 28-30 to 16. And Coach Dave Angel's got to call a timeout. A lot of three-point shooting here by the Flyers. That's five of them in this half, taking wow. a 30 to 16 lead to Gertie. They're not afraid to put it up from outside. Well, you know what that's doing? It's pulling everybody back so that underneath is wide open for rebounding. And I tell you what, there's not a lot of rebounds going on because the shots are going in. Exactly. Coach Kevin Jordan's got to be happy with his team's play. And Coach Dave Angel, whew, he's talking to his boys saying, hey, this is Little Falls, man, former conference rival. Yeah, the new conference, uh, the Granite Ridge, maybe we should go through quickly who is in that conference yes. now, Gertie. In fact, we've got uh, Becker's coming in next year, but Foley, Little Falls, Malacca, Morris, St. Cloud Cathedral, and Princeton and Zimmerman are in this year. Albany's coming next year, too. 
So right now, Little Falls is on top of the conference. We do have a graphic on that. Little Falls is uh, undefeated right now, 1-0 and in the conference. And uh, St. Cloud Cathedral, I think, is the team to beat in this conference besides Little Falls. They are tough. Uh, now the other, this is, oh, I see. Paul Coleman. Pulled the number off. Okay. I am sorry. That's Paul Coleman in here. I think he had tape on that number before. Rebounded. Little Falls. Uh -oh. Ekman with foul. That's 23 Jiskra with a basket. I do apologize. That's Paul Coleman, number 13. That's not number three. I must have been tape on that number, Paul. I thought well, I saw a three. I don't know. Either that could be macular go. degeneration <laughs> setting in on you, Davey. <laughs> Something like that. 3.34 to go coming in for Little Falls, number 20. Jake Scott and for Sartell, 45, Parker Hagen. Little Falls up 30 to 18, the biggest lead of the night right now, 12 points at the line. Jiskra puts it up, swish. Jiskra has, uh, I think, six, seven, six points tonight, Paulie, I think. 3.30 to go, 30 to 19. That's four for Jiskra. You're right, four, got it. Lubers, Scott, Bell, Little Falls content to run some time off the clock. Boy, Luber's got pushed underneath by Lanners. And Immelman, no call. There's a push. And that's a push on Wenzel? Jake Scott, I believe, over oh, the back. You got it. Boy, Immelman got away with a big one there. He sent uh, Luber's flying. Coming in, Gradine. Five team falls on the Flyers, no. 3-11 to go and a half. Boy, so the bonus coming up in two fouls for Little Falls. 3-10 to go. Boy, it's been a low, low-scoring game for Sartell. Pretty decent show by Little Falls right now. Number 11, Marshall Wirtz fell in. Coleman. Nice dribbler, Coleman. Gets it back out to Immelman. Immelman. Jiskra back to Coleman. Wirtz fell. Boy, Sartell trying to open something up underneath. The Immelman is not doing anything by trying to cut right now. He's being watched by Gradine really closely. Boy, Colin Gradine is playing a nice game underneath. Coleman with a nice pass. Nothing going. Safety valve Coleman gets the ball back. Dribbling, good pick set by Sartell. Gets his own tipped pass, and Gradine comes up with it. Whoa, Sartell with a minute. Nothing doing for shots. Wenzel, left side, big pass over to Scott. Bell, deep right, back over to Ekman. Nice move, puts it down. Bell, I mean, Scott, nothing to shoot at right now. He's going base, puts it up, left hand, boom, foul. Nice move, Coleman with the foul. 2.05 to go, 30 to 19. And coming in, uh, Travis Spillum on the bench. They uh, mentioned that as Coleman's second. I had it down for the first. He must have got picked up that foul that Jessica got earlier. You know what? That's what I'm thinking, too. Or, or just me. Jim's me. Yep. Wenzel comes out. Spillum goes in. Ekman goes out. Did he hit that free throw, my boy? He hit boy? the first one. Yes, he okay. did. So Scott gets that one. He's got uh, four points tonight. Scott's second free throw. Off the rim and rebounded by Parker Hagen. Little Falls puts on a mini press, nothing big. Fisher back to Wurzfeld. Wurzfeld takes the left side, picked up quickly by Scott. Back way out to Fisher, watched by Tommy Smith. Tommy Smith, eyes on the ball. Kevin Jordan, a good defensive coach too, keeping those legs moving. Oh, Ooh. big foul. They're calling a block. Uh-oh. Oh boy. That's a foul on Jake Scott, his second I have, Paulie. Yes, sir. I don't know if that could have gone either way. He was getting picked at the time, and uh, they're saying Scott put his hip in. Luber's coming back in. Troy Scott coming back in. First one up and good by Jiskra, 23. And Scott in the game. Tommy Smith still in, Grant Bell in, Spencer Luber's in, and Travis Spill in the second shot coming up by Jiskra. Jiskra puts it up, and it's good. So Jiskra picks up some points tonight. 
I got it for nine right now. Big three-point shot by none other than Tommy Smith. Paul, that's his fourth three-pointer tonight. 14 and a half. Holy moly. 134 to go, 34 21. 13 point lead, biggest lead by Little Falls. Well, Fisher tries to go behind the back and is kicked out of bounds by Sartell. Boy, Fisher just, uh, ball didn't come with him. Fisher's a nice looking ball player, though. He handles the ball well and he's pretty quick, too. First step is quick. Tommy Smith with the ball, out of bounds. Oh, Fisher with a nice steal. He goes all the way. He dunks it. <laughs> Nice job by Fisher. Five in the game for Fisher. That's his first basket since about uh, two minutes into the game, too. He had a three-pointer earlier. So a little falls up by 11, 34-23. Grant Bell, oh man, Spillum couldn't handle the pass. Underneath the Lubers, tipped away, slapped away. That's a foul on Sartell's, uh, looks like uh, Holland Camp. That's a non-shooting foul. First on Holland Camp, only the 14th foul here. Boy, probably 10 fouls in the first half. Quick paced, not a lot of dead action here. 34, 23, 59 seconds to go. Ekman dishes it off to Bell. Bell, oh nice pass to Tommy Smith. Wide open Ekman, boom! Oh man, Colin Ekman buried the three. You see how Sartell's shifting to take over what's happening on the left side and Ekman wide open. Wow. Good shot, but uh, to get him open was probably the play. That was it. Tommy Smith made that play happen. Fisher coming down court, 39 seconds to go. 37-23, a 14 point lead for Little Falls. Biggest lead of the night for the Flyers. Hollerman, Hollenkamp, back to Fisher. Jiskra, Fisher kind of Stuck in the corner back there. Back to Jiskra. Looking for something crossing. Number 23, Zach Jiskra is the tallest person in there right now. It's 6-1. Oh, Hollenkamp with a shot. There's the foul on that one, boy. It's a bonus now. It's a two-shot foul, but it's a bonus now the rest of the way. Ekman. Ekman with two, Jake Scott with two, and Matt Valentine with two. So... Wow. Could cause some problems. That sure could. Two of the starters with two fouls right now. Coach Jordan's going to have to watch those fouls. Boy, the free throw is just not happening for Sartell. Number 35, Hollenkamp misses that one. 37-23. 15.8 seconds to go. Missed them both. Boy, oh boy. Lucky break for Little Falls. Spencer Luber's on the rebound. Bell, they're going to be content with one shot here, I think with 11 seconds to go. Ekman, nice move, puts it up, woo, man! Colin Ekman just shows him how it's done. And one last shot for Sartell. Ooh. It's the rim. Whoa, at the half poly, 39 to 23. Little Falls up by 16 points, the biggest lead of the night. And Coach Kevin Jordan's got things pretty much well in hand here. And Dave Angel is looking for some help from his tall people, just not coming right now. Do a little scoring recap. We're going to watch the Flyer band play during halftime. We'll take a little break here. But, Polly, what do you got for scoring there? You got that that math mind going there? Well, uh, according to my Harding math here, <laughs> I got uh, Tommy Smith with 14, Whoa. Colin Ekman with 8, Jake Scott with 4, Josh Wenzel with 3, Colin Gordine with 4, and uh, Matt Valentine also with four, but Valentine hampered with some foul problems. Didn't play a lot in the latter part of the half, uh, but still, I mean, 39 points at halftime is a pretty fast-paced uh, half. That's a respectable game so far. On the Sartell side, they only have 23 points. Eight of those from the uh, big fella, Tim Immelman. Six for Jerska, and uh, I've got two for Parker. And where am I missing the rest? Patrick Fisher Patrick with Fisher. five. Yep, there you go. And uh, 13 minutes 21, huh? Missing one back in here. I think uh, Jiskra had two more points. Let me give him eight, yep, and then we're good. We got. Yep, yep, we got it. Eight and eight, there it is. Well, we're going to take a little break while you watch the Flyer Band. We'll be back with the second half of basketball, Little Falls Flyer Media Productions, Channel 6, Jerry Abraham. Thank you very much. Be back with the second half in about eight minutes. Thanks a lot. Mind going there?
Alexandria, 1 and 0. Wilmer, 1 and 1. Apollo, 1 and 1. Tech, 1 and 1. Fergus, 1 and 1. Sock Rapids, 1 and 1. Recorio, 1 and 1. Sartell, 1 and 1. And Brainerd, 0 and 1. You can see our graphic ran out at the bottom of that. So these teams evenly matched up in the conferences, their respective conferences. But Little Falls just seeming to do a good job everywhere in this game. Transition, block in the game. Hawk and balls. And Paul. They've got a good lead going on here. Yeah, they they played a very good first half. They're a step quicker, you have to say that. Uh, the only concern that you'd have to have if you're a Flyer fan uh, out there in the World Wide Web tonight would be Matt Valentine with a pair of fouls. Also Colin Ekman with a pair of fouls. Jake Scott also with two. Um, that could be a problem down the road, especially if they've got a matchup with the big boys inside in this second half. First half, however, they really did a good job uh, keeping Tim Inelman, the 6'7 junior at bay. He did score eight points, but uh, still, uh, they played him well inside, and uh, they didn't, on paper, it looked like they'd have a better inside game than the Flyhawks. Little Falls with their starting five back in. The ball almost stolen away by Sartell's number five. And it looks like Sartell's got their starting five back in. Walhart, Fisher, Immelman, Jiskra, and Lanners. So we got the two starting fives back. Watching Grant Bell work. Kicks it out to Josh Wenzel. Boom! Another three-pointer. Incredible. They're letting those threes fly. It's 42 to 23. Little Falls just shooting the lights out from three-point range. Polly, I only have them missing two three-point shots in the game so far. Jeepers. Oh, Little Falls almost stole that pass. Nice basket by 23, Jiskra. Jiskra scores his first basket of the second half, 42-25, 17-15 to go early in the second half here. Of course, no more quarters in basketball. Only the NBA has quarters now. Foul. Who was that on? Don't tell me. It's Matt. Oh, good. It's not Matt Valentine, 21. Oh, that's on Immelman. Oh, that was a Sartell foul. Yes. Okay. I thought that was a Matt Valentine pushing off. That's Immelman's first foul I've got. Spencer Luber's Valentine working underneath. That three-point range shot got to be stopped by Sartell if they want to stay in this game. Bell dishes it off. Spencer Luber's kicks it to Valentine. Valentine out to Wenzel. A little wayward pass, though, by Joshua had the three-point shot open. Ekman, left side. Valentine, boy, Paulie, he goes up so strong, and he traveled. Took a little extra step, but he's... Kind of overmatched there by uh, Immelman, a little bit taller inside, and uh, tried to put the head fake on him. It didn't work. Well, Immelman has stood his ground every time underneath, too. you got to give him credit for that defense. 16.41 to go. Sartell coming across the line. Jiskra to Fisher over in the corner to Wallert. Wallert has no points tonight as this one of the starters, the only one that didn't have any points. Underneath, Lanners, two big boys. Oh, a three-point shot, fade away by Jiskra, no good. Rebounded by Bell, coming down, crosses the timeline, all the way down, puts it up, and he's fouled. That's going to be called on number five, I believe. Yes, sir, number five. I'm surprised, Paul, tonight, uh, as in the Piers game, there's only two officials for this boys game, and I've seen many games of this caliber with three. <laughs> so, Bell. Sizes it up, puts it in. Polly, that's Bell's first basket. First point, of yeah. Of any kind. 43-25, little falls up. Bell, nice free throw touch for him. 16-16 to go, 43-25, 44-25, 19-point lead. For little falls. Big three-pointer by Lanners. And Valentine skies that one. Bell all the way down. Boom. Foul. A little desperation foul here. Fisher what are you going to do? Fisher got a little too aggressive, but this Fisher kid at 6'4", he's only a junior. Kid's got some potential. He gets a blocking foul called. And that sends Bell to the line again. He made his last two free throws. Let's see what he does here. Nothing but net. Boy, Bell is just cool as a cucumber at the line. 20-point lead, the biggest lead for Little Falls tonight, 45-25, 16.02 to go in the second half. And the second one he missed, so he's three for four from the line tonight. Fisher gets across. Little Falls in that man-to-man -man defense, Paul. They have not let up man-to-man -man all night. Tipped out of bounds by uh, Bell. 
very active in that man-to-man -man too. Hines flying all over, uh, just playing heads up defense. Fisher inbounding the ball to, Lan uh, to Immelman. Immelman looks for somebody, gives it to Lanners, the other six, seven. Boy, a little off the mark by Fisher and rebounded by Bell. He goes coast to coast, puts it up. Oh, finger roll, no good. Ekman for three. Yes. Well. Colin Ekman. Polly, I have him for nine points from the three-point line, I believe. I have him for 11 in the game. Wow. Ekman is just shooting the lights out. Lanner is no good. Boy, they just can't hit anything tonight. Wenzel wide open. He's just got Immelman to beat. Immelman puts down the foot. And Ekman, oh, that one goes a little sky. And Lanners with the rebound, that kind of fell into his hand. 15.05 to go, 48-25, a 23-point lead by Little Falls. And guess what, Paul? We have the wholesale substitution on aisle three. And there's a Turnover foul. on Fisher. Turnover. Yeah, just like carried the ball. Yeah, Fisher had that ball pinned against his hip, and he took that little stutter step. Well, turnovers have... You know, besides the poor shooting by Sartell right now, the turnovers have been kind of haunting them, too, in the game. And their rebound statistics Boy. certainly has got to be in the purple side this evening. I don't have my rebound chart here. I wish I did, but I'd like to have that next game. We've got to get that statistician on. Got to expand the payroll a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and Little Falls shot goes awry by Tommy Ooh. Smith. Oh, boy, nice play by defense. Scott. Just takes the ball out of Fisher's hands, and Lanners travels with that pass interception. Just traveled. He's got a little a shoulder brace on there, too. Number 13, Paul Coleman coming in the game for Sartell, replacing Wallert. And Alex Wallert, uh, and back as Ben Lanners doesn't have a basket either, so two of the starters from Sartell have no points. The points have been all between Jiskra, Immelman, and Fisher. That's a technical foul here. Wow. Tommy Smith with the shot. Good. Well, I didn't see what happened, Paul. 15 in the game for Smith here. That's number 21 with a technical. That was Immelman. And he misses that second one. So uh, Tommy Smith, a rare miss. I think Immelman was a little bit upset with that traveling call because he got the possession and the referee ruled that he stepped with it. And... Uh, didn't see eye to eye on that call. And Dave Angel's talking to referee uh, Tom Ke uh, Killer, Keller. And uh, not going to get his way with this, of course, just talking about it. So when the game comes 45, uh, Peter Hagen, uh, Parker Hagen, and Hagen replaces Immelman. And Immelman's going to get a little talking to by Dave Angel. I guess I didn't say a little temper flared there, so he got the T. Scott with the ball. Watched by Fisher. Man-to-man -man defense by Sartell. They cut into his little 2-2 zone, too, off the bat. Tommy Smith kicks it over to Scott. Wide open for 12 feet. Good. That's Scott's first basket of the game, Paul. 12-footer, nothing but net. Coleman throws it away. Josh Wenzel takes the ball. Scott, nice move, left-handed layup. That was pretty. Woohoo! Troy Scott with four points. 13.59 to go, 53 to 25. Little Falls close to a 30 point lead here. And it's a quiet 30 points here, wow. Nice move underneath by Parker Hagen, wow. Hagen just took the baseline and uh, they're letting him go. And a little travel call on Scott. Little Falls showing good poise underneath, not using the body to block that baseline. And what amazes me more than anything, the size differential and the Flyers are dominating the boards. 53-27, you're right, they've got to be two to one easily on rebounds. Nice shot, up, no good by number 23, Jiskra, and that ball gets kicked out of bounds by Little Falls. Sartell retains possession. Looks like uh, Jake Scott got stepped on underneath. He's limping just a hair. Coleman gonna inbound the ball for Sartell. Coleman, looking, 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 Jiskra. Puts up a 19-footer, and that's only a two-pointer. And the basket gets pulled down by Spillum. It's a two-pointer for Jiskra. 12 in the game for Jiskra. Leading point scorer, Immelman close behind. Scott, a little slowing things down a little bit here with a nearly a 30-point lead, 
Scott kicks it back. Oh, Tommy Smith with an NBA three-pointer. No good. He falls down after it. Coleman takes it coast to coast, dishes it up. No good, and a foul on Scott. Coleman just kind of threw it up for a prayer. And Valentine, Lubers, uh, Colin Ekman, Bell, and Wenzel coming back in in the next whistle. Scott's first foul. Coleman, good. His first point. Finally got these names right. I apologize again. Paul Coleman, number 13. Nick Jemsey, number 3. Coleman listed at 5'7". He's only a sophomore, but uh, he puts a little beef on. He could be a tough player down the road here. And he's quick. Yeah, he's very quick for the Sabres. Second shot good. Hits them both. 53-30, a 23-point, 50-31, a 22-point lead, and uh, ball kicked out of bounds by Fisher. Little Falls retains possession of that ball. Bell going to inbound it. Matt Valentine uh, quiet underneath. He's only got four points tonight. A couple of fouls, a couple of baskets. Nice dish. Bell! Boom! Grant Bell with a beautiful basket. That's his first basket of the game. 55-31. And Coleman dishes it out to Jiskra. Nice shot. Jiskra's heating up. Is that a three? That was a deuce. That was a deuce. He stepped on the line. Valentine, oh, Valentine puts it up a little strong. And that was his problem against Pierce. He'd have had 35 points. He had 40 points against Pierce had he get those uh, layups in. Got the ball to him real nice down low. Man, it was just beautiful, beautiful dish off. 12-13 to go, 55-33, a 22-point lead for Little Falls. Coleman from Fisher trying to set up an offense here. Little Falls in that man-to-man -man defense, not letting it go. Boy, I think Ooh. he got away with a little. Yeah. <laughs> little waltz across Texas Whoa, there, but he put it in the hole. <laughs> he did. Maybe they ruled he put his foot down before he got rid of the ball. There's a double dribble that got away. Called it a tip. And Ekman with another shot. Nice underneath to Ekman. Oh. Puts it up. Boom, no good. Ball tipped, and it's getting a little rough underneath. And Coach Kevin Jordan letting the ref know it's getting a little rough underneath. And Coach Jordan disagreeing with the uh, all ball call. 55-35, yeah, huh? a 20-point lead for Little Falls. 11.41 to go in the second half. Dylan Hollenkamp inbounding the ball to... Paul Coleman. Coleman watched just for a little little pressure by Grant Bell. Coleman to Fisher. Fisher on the left side looking underneath and uh, nothing underneath at all. Sartell really playing perimeter ball here. There's not a lot going on underneath. Jiskra back to Coleman. Coleman puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Ekman. Fast break coming up here. Three on three. Not really a fast break. A medium speed break. Bell. Oh, Wenzel with a beautiful move. In. Oh. You know, Paulie, I don't know how many assists uh, Ekman has had, but that's at least five. Yeah, that was a beautiful pass. Oh, and stolen by Bell. Coleman has his pocket picked. Bell puts it in, and he's fouled. Woo! Grant Bell has two baskets. Boy, he got pushed by Coleman, and Coleman doesn't like the call. 10.56 to go. 59.35. Little falls up by 24 points. One thing we haven't seen in a while is Tim Immelman, the 6'7 uh, junior since the technical fall has been on the pine. He has a little little cushy pine over there. Yeah. I rode the pine a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Grant Bell with another free throw. Bell is lighting it up from the free throw line. It's eight in the game for Bell. Boy, he's got uh, two baskets and four free throws. Coleman with a beautiful no-look pass. Oh, and Jiskra puts his elbow in, and he gets the foul call. Matt Valentine was set there. He, he was, was set. set. Yep, yep. All jokes aside. <laughs> and that's on number 23. Jiskra, that's his second foul, according to Joel Holy, the public address announcer down there. Taking over longtime press announcer Jack Peck, retiring a couple years ago. Joel Holy's got his iPad oh, working Oh, nice there pass too. by Valentine inside. Tommy Smith. Boy, that Matt Valentine is just working underneath. He's getting hammered underneath. Elbow by number 45, and that's going to get called every time. Parker Hagen gave Matt Valentine the elbow in the back, and uh, referee's calming him down just a little bit underneath. 
Ben Lanner's back in the game. And boy, you're right, uh, Immelman is just sitting on the bench. And, and the, got the reason we make a big issue of that, Immelman had uh, eight points down low in that first half. And uh, Well, Polly, look at this. Sartell has seven fouls with less than, ten, less than eight minutes gone in the second half. They did not get to the bonus. Little Falls didn't all first half. Valentine, ooh, a little strong on that. Rebounded by Hagen. Oh, tipped away by Bell. What a nice play by Grant Bell. Puts it up and in. Oh, boy. That's hustle there, Jake. Boy, Bell picked the pocket, put it up all by himself. Lanners goes up strong. And Tommy Smith, Tommy Smith only gives up, let's see, one foot on that one. <laughs> Give him credit for hustling. He sure got credit. 62 to 35, Little Falls opening up a big lead, almost a 30 point lead here. And Lanners looking for a basket here, nothing Ooh, going. In and out, Lanners been shut out tonight. He has no points, he's one of the starters. And Alex Walhart, the other starter that doesn't have any points. Coming out of the game, Matt Valentine, Grant Bell. Back in Josh Wenzel, Tommy Smith, uh, Jake Scott, and Colin Gradeen. Lanners, finally, there first you go. point. Ben Lanners with one point tonight. 10.05 to go, 62-36. Tom Smith, they're just a running Sartell ragged here. Oh, you saw it, Josh Wenzel. Left-handed layup. Fisher, taken away by Scott, and he goes into the crowd. Coach Randy Tabbitt, I think he gets two points for a save. Tabbitt does not get shut out tonight. 9.48 to go, 64-36. Josh Wenzel double figures now with 10 points. Wow. Lanner's inbound to Coleman. Sartell just can't get anything going here. Little Falls man-to-man -man defense is pressuring them all night. Their outside shooting is just dismal. And inside, nothing going. So Little Falls kind of commanding here tonight. Coleman steps up. Ball gets away. Hollenkamp picks it up. Hollenkamp puts it up from 12. No good. And that's a foul on Sky. Well, Paulie, I think that's number three. Scott is third. Yeah. Well, three, you're right, Herb. <laughs> Holland Camp. Uh, no points for Holland Camp tonight. Left handed free throw shooter. The big lefty puts one in. 64 37. The Sartell squad, a lot of underclassmen playing for them this evening. I'm thinking last year. I, they lost a couple of seniors that were just hot, and I don't remember who they were. 9.29 to go, 64-38. Of course, Little Falls pretty tough last year. And Little Falls this year looking to hopefully take this Granite Ridge Conference. Dish off to Wenzel, three-pointer, it's oh. in! Jay Purse. Wow, Josh Wenzel, that is, I have, Paul, his second three-pointer tonight? 13 in a game oh. for Josh. 9.07 to go, 66-38. Little Falls just walking away with this right now. Coleman from three. Oh, oh that's a shot from the hip. Coleman with a beautiful three-pointer. Seven in the game for Coleman. Coming off the bench. Whoa, foul, three-point shot foul. Coleman just hammered Scott. Oh, boy. That's Coleman's third foul. Well, he put his butt right into Jake Scott after he got him listed shot. as his fourth, Herb. That's Herb's fourth, oh. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's Paul Coleman's With all due respect to Herb Carneal. <laughs> well, we uh, got it going here. Jake, five in the game, Jake Scott. Not to be confused with the Jake Scott, the old defensive back for the Miami Dolphins. That's right, there Jake Scott. He gets another one. He gets another one because of a three-point shot. Three-point fall, yeah. Well, we got the uh, part of the starting lineup back in. Lubers, Valentine, and uh, Travis Spillen coming off the bench. 68-41, boy, Little Falls, oofta, 27-point lead. Man. And that one, he made all three, three of those. Three for three, got to be proud of that. Seven in the game for Jake Scott. 69-41, a 28-point lead for Little Falls. 8.48 to go, and the uh, story of this game is going to be free throw shooting for Little Falls. Sartell going to get to the double bonus here with two fouls to give. Boy, in and out by Lanners. Oh, Hill oh. ball. Oh, my. Whoa. Fisher over the back there, but uh, yep. apparently got a piece of the leather. And uh, anyway, alternate possession gives it to the Flyers. Spencer Luber is going to inbound this ball to Grant Bell, and Patrick Fisher drops way back. 
Bell made a beautiful steal and basket about a minute ago. Valentine turns, shoots, up, no good. Bell with the rebound, underneath, kicks it out, Scott. Scott drives the lane, oh, no look pass intercepted by Lanners. Nice try, 69-41, Fisher. Dishes it off to Lanners. Lanners is trying that three, but no go. Hey, Immelman's back in the game too, Polly. Oh boy, there's a foul. Not a foul, he got away with something there. Hollenkamp, strong with the three. The official's kind of letting it go here for a One minute. One shot and done again, rebounding. Boy, that is two to one ratio at least for Little Falls. I don't have the official stats here. 69-41, 7.49 to go in the second half. Spillum drives the baseline, picked away. Oh nice my. Oh boy, blocked by Lanners, the referee says. Fisher puts it up. Valentine, wide open. Grant Bell, let him go. Oh, is he oh, hurt. Oh, undercut. Not good. Not a good foul, and Grant Bell takes it hard on the hip. You know, you could almost uh, hit that intentional foul. Yeah, there. Could have. The referee uh, not calling it, though. Grant Bell, Ooh. right the, on the hip. The wood is hard down below. It is. Didn't hit his head, but he hit his wrist and his hip, and he's he's a good sport about it. Yeah, Holland Camp comes up and uh, does extend his hand as a sign of condolence. So that's good sportsmanship. It is. It's good sportsmanship. Let him let him know it's a good, not a great foul, but a good gesture. Kids hustling. You got to give him that. What do you have for Bell tonight, Paul? I'm a uh, uh, three, seven, ten. That's eleven for wow. my boy Bell. Six from the line. Well, he's been lights out from the line, only missed one free throw. Tommy Smith replacing Bell, and Bell's going to get a little uh, hip rub. Coach Kurt Stump congratulating him on a good game. 7.30 to go, 71-41, a 30-point lead, Paul, for Little Falls, the biggest lead of the night for the Flyers. And uh, for Bell, that's 11 points all in the second half. Valent Moore, Matty Valentine. He's got more fouls. Oh, he's got four points. He's got three fouls. Yep. Just can't get it going tonight with those big fellas inside, but he's playing his tail off. Inbounds by Lanners. Fisher, deep right side, looking for something. Lanners trying that three, and that three is just not open for him. Oh, boy. Slapped away by Valentine. Nice job on Immelman. And if Valentine isn't going to score uh, big tonight, the way it looks, but he's played a heck of a ball oh. game defensively and rebounding well, and... Uh, Handled a big fella pretty good inside. Emelman turns, shoots, no good. Valentine in his face the whole way. Tommy Smith comes up with the rebound. 7.05, kicks it out to Scott. Scott, Valentine puts it up, no good foul. <laughs> that's a two shot foul, that's on number 21 I bet. Yep, that's uh, Emelman. So he's got a technical and two fouls. All the fouls count, count toward his team foul too. Yes so. sir. No longer is it, can you get five fouls and two technicals. It's all a part of your foul. Valentine buries that one. Back on the scoring column is Matt Valentine. He's only got five tonight, Paulie? So I got him for five, but five uh, like I said, there's a lot more to the game than putting points on the board. Absolutely, he has played a heck of a defensive game. Second point up and good. I'm impressed with how much the kids improved over a year ago. I can see he's worked his tail off in the off season. I want to thank again our Flyer Media Productions crew. Great job tonight by them. We're doing a little meeting with our superintendent tomorrow on Channel 6 to talk about Flyer Media Productions. We're going to highlight all these great kids. I got some footage tonight on the iPad. We'll show it off tomorrow. 6.59 to go. Thanks again. Uh, Channel 6, Karen Warner, my partner in crime. Jerry Abraham, Channel 6 sponsor for us. Nice drive by Fisher. In and out. Boy, he can't buy a basket. Puts it up again and he's fouled. Could that be Jake Scott? Number 40, Colin Gradine. I thought he got a 20 on that. 73-41, boy, Little Falls just walking away with this game. They did not coast to that win against Pierce. They worked hard for it, but the score was uh, indicative of a blowout, but it was not. Hey, Pierce put up a good game. Zimmerman was ahead, spotting Little Falls 13 points, and Little Falls comes back, scores 100 points. I don't think 100's in the cards tonight, but Little Falls playing a great Great offensive game, ah, great defensive game on rebounds. 73-42. Spillum, Scott, Sartell uh, going 2-3 zone right now. Scott, Jake Scott. Oh, ball Ooh. falls off his hand. 
up for grabs, and Immelman, or, uh, Lanners takes it. Fisher has it tipped out of bounds, <laughs> and they collide, but no foul, of course. Just a little incidental contact, and poor Pat Fisher goes down to the ground. Good hustle on defense there by the Flyers, I believe. That was, uh, was that Bell? That was Bell. Yep. Got back there quickly, broke the play up. Underneath, Fisher puts mm. it up. The basket's good. Pat Fisher, well, that's his first basket of the second half. Eight in the game now for Fisher, and he'll get another crack from the free throw line. That is on Travis Spill, and Travis' first, first foul. <laughs> oh, that is Travis. I thought this was 42, but they got, there it is right there. Okay, Fisher, three-point play, good. And a timeout called, uh, Sartell. They're calling a full timeout here. 6-13 to go, Polly. Boy, the game uh, well within, well in hand by Little Falls. A story of the game, like you mentioned. Rebounding by Little Falls, defense by Little Falls. Boy, Matt Valentine putting on a heck of a defensive show tonight. Yeah, quickness. Uh, you can really see that the, the foot speed. This this year's Flyers uh, team is deeper and, and quicker, I have to say, than last year. They move the ball around a lot better. They play a lot more hustling defense, man-to-man -man the whole game, like you mentioned. In your face defense, and uh, despite the fact being a little bit outsized down low, they basically uh, control the boards on both sides, offensively and defensively. And I have to say, this is a, a very impressive performance for your locals here tonight. I'm looking at the Central Lakes Conference stats as far as I have them up to date right now. Sartell is one and five overall. They did beat Apollo uh, last week, 54 to 48. But this is not the same team that came to play against Apollo. Up in the conference right now, Wilmer, Apollo, and Tech are uh, leading the conference with one and one records. Alexandria is one and zero, oh, but they have a two and three overall record. Well, so Little Falls playing some old great uh, Central Lakes Conference opponents. They'll be playing some of these teams only once this year, and uh, playing a lot, lot different teams. The Central Lakes Conference is different basketball team conference than the Granite Ridge Conference. Cathedral coming up is going to be a big game for Little Falls. 6.06 to go, 73-45. Ekman, Scott, drives, puts it up. No good, rebound by his brother Troy, and he puts it in. An eight-footer by Troy Scott. Six in the game for Troy. First basket of the second half for him, too. 75-45, 30-point lead for Little Falls, and it's just going to be a play it smart. Don't foul, let Sartell have a couple open shots, but contest them. Oh, rebound, nice shot, rebound by by uh, Fisher. Fisher dishes it off underneath Immelman. Immelman's playing way out. Fisher looking for Immelman. Colin Gradin is just, just taking care of Immelman underneath. Baseline grab, stolen away by Scott, Jake Scott. Colin Ekman, boom, no good, rebounded by Lanners, and there's a foul. Called on the spill. A lot of whistle stopping play here later in the second half. And the foul chart shows it, Paulie. Ten fouls for Sartell. Little Falls in the double bonus and seven fouls for Little Falls. So Sartell in the bonus. Should be a one and one yeah, if that's be the an, case. I think the clock, uh, the scorekeeper Mike Moore, his uh, wife Cheryl on the books said, yeah, you got a one and one here. Our announcer, Joel Holy, taking over for the infamous Jack Peck. Holy's got his iPad. He puts the music on, you know, get a little going with the iPad. Of course, Little Falls doing the Project Real Project, a one-to-one -one initiative of iPads in 5th through 12th grade, going quite well. Talked about that on Channel 6, too. Oh, man, Lanners can't buy a basket. Lanners has one point tonight, one from the free throw line. Tommy Smith crosses the timeline to Wenzel. Wenzel to Ekman, nice drive, free throw line Ekman. No, decides to give up that shot. Wenzel from three point has been deadly lately. Fisher, nice box out for him. Ekman, nice dip, puts it up, no good. And no rebound. We got uh, Cameron Smith in the game, number 50, first time. Didn't see that coming off the bench. Lanners from three, oh, he buries it. Lanners now with four in the ball game, Herb. 4.33 to go. <laughs> Tommy Smith coming down the court with the ball. Off to Ekman. Luber's back in. Spencer Luber's have been quiet. He only has, uh, he's got no baskets, only two shots that I've got. When I was keeping score of the shots, you know. 
Oh, nice job by Smith. Cameron Smith, his first basket tonight. Smith is a six foot four inch sophomore. His future is ahead of him. Fisher, wide open Lanners. They're letting Lanners stay open to see if he can shoot that ball. And he puts mm. it up, he's got another basket. Lanners coming alive here, six in the game, and he's got a shot for a free throw here. 4.02 to go, 77-50. 27-point lead for Little Falls. Flyers led 39-23 at halftime and basically just picked it up right where they left off at the intermission. Coming out of the game, Josh Wenzel. Colin Ekman says, I don't want to come out. Let me stay in for four more minutes. I think we're going to see the uh, Aaron bench. Hul Aaron Hulberg just checks in. Well, that's nice to see Six Aaron. Six-foot senior. Aaron, a heck of a baseball player, heck of a pitcher. And Fellbaum, Darren Fellbaum, number 44, former media art student of mine. Oh, my. Actually, a couple of these boys are media art students of mine. Spencer Luber is great, great on the announcer. Oh, beautiful. Smith puts it up again. It's in. Cameron Smith with four points tonight. 79-51, 28-point lead for Little Falls. Coleman, oh, dish, no good. <laughs> Dylan, uh, excuse me, uh, Parker Hagen can't get it in. Coming up with the rebound, Lubers. Fellbaum, back to Lubers. Busting underneath his Halber looking for a basket. Oh, Spencer he Lubers tripped. gets kicked. Stepped on his foot, looks like uh, he's where he slipped. That's on Jiskra, that's his third. Yep, I got three for him. Well, Paulie Jisker leading all scorers for Sartell. Boy. I'm 16, 15 points. Nothing but net for Lubers. Guess what? On the board is Spencer Lubers. His first point. 80 to 51. 6'4 junior. Hits them both. In the Granite Ridge Conference, just to let you know, Little Falls is 5-0, and Cathedral's 2-1 and overall. Princeton's 7-4, and they must be missing some Cathedral games here. Mora 3-2, and Zimmerman 2-2, two and two. Malacca 2-4, and four. and Foley 3-6. and six. Foley a big wrestling match. Hey, at the end of the month in January, Mike Olson and I will be doing a wrestling match between Foley oh. and Little Falls. Wouldn't want to miss that one. Perennial champs Foley, perennial state-bound Foley. Plenty of good seats still available, but the tickets are going fast. <laughs> Coleman brings the ball down the court for Sartell. Drops it off to Hagen. Hagen back to Hollenkamp. The big lefty passes back to Hagen. Little falls man-to-man. -man. They're staying in a man-to-man. -man. Yeah, they're dropping back man-to-man -man zone, man-to-man -man zone, and picked up by Scott. Nice tip away. Troy Scott spins around. Hallberg. Looking for a basket here. Aaron Hallberg puts it up. Boom! All right. I tell you what, Paul, everybody except Spillum and Fellbaum have scored tonight off the bench. That's all we need is two more people to score. We got a, we run the table. Kicked out to Coleman. Back underneath. Just out to Hollenkamp, number 51. Brandon Snowberger in the game for the first time for Sartell. Snowberger. Back out to Hagen. Little Falls not relenting. You know what? In a good team, you're going to keep playing the game all night. Snowberger, just a freshman, a 6'3 freshman. Wow. And this is Kevin Wolf uh, with that ball. That was a foul. Kevin Wolf in the game, um, six foot six inch sophomore. As a jump ball called, and the uh, Sabres will get it on the alternate possession. Coleman inbounding the ball. Snowberger for three, no good. Tipped away out, and coming up, Cameron Smith. And in the game, that is number 10, Nathan Masog, the only other person not to score tonight. So hmm. Masog could put a basket in here, number five. Troy Scott puts it up, rebounded by Smith, but it's tipped away by Parker Hagen, and up comes the ball, Coleman. Underneath mm -hmm. Wolf, Kevin Wolf. Gets fouled. Nice pass down low. Found the open man, and Wolf will shoot a pair of free throws. 151 to go, 83 to 51. Little falls up by 32 points. Talk about a big kid. Here's another one, Kevin Wolf. 
six six sophomore. Unbelievable. A lot of underclassmen in this Sartell team. They're going to take their licks here, but uh, they're going to get better. 83-52, and we're going to have a substitution back in as Gradine. So the Little Falls team is all bench people. Uh, Aaron Hallberg again. Nathan Masog, 5'10 inch junior. Wolf, boy, mm. missed the rim, and that's got to go out. Little Falls takes it out of bounds. And the familiar air ball <laughs> chant echoes through the Coliseum. <laughs> Masog, watched by Coleman. Masog, a good ball handler. Nathan Mays oh, lets it get away, and it's over and over back. Over and back. That was not tipped by Coleman, so Masog, a little too much action with that ball. Holland Camp going to inbound the ball. Will you be figuring out that score, Paulie? Oh, because boy. we're going to have a, a mess on our hands with score. We might have to call in a math major <laughs> I to tell do you, this. I got my calculator on the iPad here. 135 to go, 83 to 52. Little Falls still playing great defense. This is bench play now. This is what these kids need to do. Late in the season, this is going to come in handy. Got a timeout called by Dave Angel. Angel started in uh, Sartell in 1979, and he started coaching the uh, assistant coach for the basketball team, talking with him before the game. Started head coaching in 1982, and he hasn't looked back, and you said the Sartell Muskies baseball team. Oh, yeah, fine, fine ball player. Okay. Math teacher in Sartell. Little Falls, Kevin Jordan, 14th year. He's assisted by Randy Tabbitt, Bobby Lokanen, Eric Bell. Of course, Jeff Bogalki, our manager on the bench all the time. Emily Asuska right next to me recording the game. A former media arts student. <laughs> Doing a great job, by the way. Well, if you had an alma mater, you'd have to rent out Holland Beck Hall to get all your former students in there. <laughs> I'm proud of them all. 125 to go in this game. I want to thank again our Flyer Media Productions team. Jerry Abraham up in the booth watching everybody. Karen Warner took a little break off tonight. Emily Danaski directing. Hey. Joe Vucinich, Vucinovic, excuse me, uh, running the signals, changing cameras. River Stump on sound, Eric Van Ark on graphics, Andrew Walvogel and Brittany James on camera three, and we've got Alex Warzeka on camera two and Nicole Andrews on camera one. Great job, everybody. Thanks very much tonight. 121 to go. Holland Camp puts it up no good. Rebounded by Halberg, but it's tipped away for Wolf. Gives it out to Coleman and a foul. We're going to get Cameron Smith with his first foul. Smith, number 50. His first foul of the night. Oh, he's got two fouls, excuse me. Wow. 112 to go here in the game, 83-52. We're safe to say Little Falls is going to win this one. Kind of walking away with it in the second half. Boy, and Wolf puts it up strong. No good. Cam, uh, Coleman telling him to calm down just a bit. See that ball into the basket. Second one. Nothing doing. Smith with a rebound, so he gets the foul, the rebound. Nathan Masog comes across the timeline. Good pick set by number 40, Gradine. Hallberg in the corner. Picks his foot up. Darren Felbaum kicks it out to Masog. Yeah, slapped away by Coleman. Nice job. Ooh. Paulie Coleman. Must Coleman. be the name. Coleman playing with four falls, and he wasn't afraid to get aggressive on defense. 55.5 seconds to go here. Second half. Little Fall is going to win this game. Just a matter of the final margin. Coleman puts it up, kicks it back out. Oh, we had a wide open shot. Did Hagen decides to pull up on it? Coleman looking, looking, looking. Loses the ball. Gradine comes up with it to Masog. Left side to Hallberg. Slapped out of bounds by number 45, Hagen. Parker Hagen. Nice defense. 33 seconds to go. 83 52. Oh, Little falls. Fell bound, putting it in play. Over to Masog. Back to Fellbaum. Darren passes it underneath. Cameron Smith. Hallberg whips it around. Back to Masog on the right side. Watched by Coleman. Masog puts it up. Land of the Giants. Wolf with a block. No good. Hallberg picks it up. And finally in the scrum, Dylan Hollenkamp comes up with the big left-hander. 10 seconds to go. 83-52. Hollenkamp. Parker Hagen now, Coleman with the ball, dishes it up, no good. Rebounded by Darren Fellbaum, and that's your final tonight. 
Little Falls walking away with this game, 83 to 52. Big blowout win, a 31 point win for Little Falls. So, Pauly's gonna get the scoring here as I talk a little bit about this game. Incredible defense by Little Falls. Matt Valentine, probably the story of the game on defense. He only had six points tonight, but boy, was he slapping shots, getting rebounds. Little Falls out rebounding Sartell two to one easily. 83 to 52 the final score. With my partner, Polly. Polly, what do we got for scoring going I got on the here? Flyers uh, covered here with their 83 points. Let's right. take a look at it quickly. Uh, Tommy Smith, 14 points oh, in, the first, the in the first half. He scored one in the second half for a total of 15. Wow. We got double figures, uh, 13 for Josh Wenzel, 11 for Grant Bell. Colin Ekman also with 11. Eight points for Troy Smith, seven for Jake Scott, uh, six for Valentine, four for Gradine, four for Cameron Smith off the bench, the sixth floor sophomore shining brightly to this evening late game. Uh, Spencer Luberts with two. Aaron Hallberg also with a pair for your total of 83. Wow, and I'm looking at my three point shots one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 three-pointers for Little Falls, so 33 points from beyond the stripe. It adds up Big quick. game. Took How about Sartell? Sartell, what I got here, the uh, leading scorer is Zach Jishkra. And uh, the only player in double figures, Pat Fisher. Nice game with nine yep. points. Paul Coleman with seven. Nimbleman get nine. Yep, Nimbleman got, got nine, yep. And... Uh, Let's see, seven for Ben Lanners, yep. two for Holland Camp, and four for Parker Hagen. Flyers took a 39-23 lead at the half and were never headed. They basically controlled the ball game tonight. Played very well. Very, very impressive performance. I like this squad. They're deep, they're quick, and they play excellent defense, and that's what it takes to win. Well, I tell you what, Coach Kevin Jordan has a big bench to go to, too. He can get people off the bench all the time. Oh, my, and, and some of the young kids that come in, uh, Cameron Smith, the sophomore, his future is very, very bright here, and uh, Gurdine is just a junior. Josh Wenzel, seems like he's been playing forever. He's only a junior. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of positive outlook on the future for the Flyer squad here. Well, that's your stories tonight. Little Falls walking away 83-52 with this game. We will be back for our next basketball broadcast on Thursday, January 5th. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it's a basketball game. And I'm not sure if it's you or Leanne doing the game with me. Is it boys or girls? I can't remember That'll if tell it's you. boys or girls. That'll tell you. Either way, Polly or Leanne will be back with me. I want to thank our great video crew tonight up in the booth, all of our directors, our cameramen down here on the floor, Jerry Abraham, our Channel 6 sponsor, Karen Warner, my partner in crime. And I want to thank Paul Franczak, my color man tonight. Final score again, 83-52. Thanks for watching this on the Little Falls Flyer website. Thanks to IHI for broadcasting it. We'll be back next year in 2012 with the next broadcast of Little Falls Flyer activities. For everybody else, this is Dave Gertz saying good night, drive safely, we'll see you next year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Paul. And same to you, Gertie. Nice job there in the play-by-play. -play. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.